Part six. This is the build complete, I think. I've done everything I need to to make it able that I can start to paint it now. So what we're dealing with in this video is the hull, uh, lower hull ERA brakes, which are here. As you can see, this is already undercoated and everything black, so they've done it. Um, so it's these and how to put them on. A little tip on how to find out where you drill the holes to fit them um, onto the front spade thing. So you, it goes on nicely and, and square. Um, it's also a little tip on how sanding these blocks. I would sand all these blocks down while they're off the tank. They've got so many sinkholes in them, it's an absolute nightmare. In the end, I just got fed up. Some of them have still got it. But you see, you can't put this flat because, as you can see, I've done them wibbly wobbly. Well, I just make them all flat <laughs> and they'll all look funny. Um, so do it like I did these, which was off the tank, and it's much better. Um, I've done the tow ropes. Now, I'll show you what I mean. I normally have proper steel wire for these, but I'd run out and I only had the, the copper wire on them. Um, so what I did was I burnished them and there's a little video of how I did it in this video. And then hopefully the burnishing will stop any copper color coming through. And then I painted them with good old Humbrol metal coat. Um, and I think they've come out okay. So you can watch that in this video. Um, let's put this back on here before I forget it. What's the other thing I did? Uh, oh, the undercoating and also, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, it's a bit, I did these all retrospectively, as I said. And also the lights, um, how to do the lights um, so that they look like they've got lenses and then color behind it. Um, and that's basically with AK, um, I put metal coat, this stuff is very good, underneath. It's very, very metally. <laughs> and then good old Tamiya clear colours. So that does the job. Um, so that's it in this video. And then next time I see you, it should be with an airbrush, airbrush? Airbrush mask on, doing the painting. It's taken a while to get to this stage, bits and bobs. I thought this would be a quick build, and I was just going to try and knock it together as quick as I could. Um, but I guess it's not in my nature. Um, so I get this done, and then I want to get onto the Centurion. Um, so I'm quite looking forward to painting this, actually, because I can beat it up a bit and do lots of weathering. With my other tanks, I've got to do the Abrams weathering, because that normally they're pretty beat up. But I didn't quite like my Challenger 2, looking sort of factory fresh. Anyway, so look, I'm going to go and stop yabbering at you. So I will see you in the next video, which will be part seven. Yeah. All right. Have a nice day. Hi, everyone. I knew I forgot something. The lower hole ERA, which goes on there. I'm going to back it on a plate because on some pictures it looks like it's on a plate, which is then onto here. Um, I don't know, I might have a look. If I do do it on a plate, I'm going to mark where these are, drill through, and then secure it sort of on the tips of those. But yes, yeah, so that's the last bit of the hole I think I need to do. Um, and then I can chuck some paint on the bottom part and start the fun job of painting it. <laughs> anyway, thanks all. And just show what I mean about sanding these blocks off before you place them on the tank. It's just so much easier. Cool sandpaper that is done. Try and do it when it's on the tank. Involved a lot of extraneous filling, which was a bit of a pain. Um, and if you can look at some that haven't been... It's quite hard to see, actually. But I would recommend that you... That's not got them. Those ones don't have them. It's really hard, it's really hard to see. But once you stick undercoat on them, the sinkholes come from the bar down the middle. You see? Maybe these haven't got them so much. Maybe I just had a bad batch, but there's a lot. There's a lot of holes. And it's just easier to do that. Anyway. Right, just a quick tip. Um, I'm rubbing down all these blocks because can you see all the sinkholes? Um, that paint in the middle is where the hole is. I'm not going to go and learn that because it's not shiny. Um, you can tell where it is. If you look at this one, can you see it shiny? And that means the sandpaper hasn't hit it. But if it's not shiny, it means the sandpaper has hit it. So hopefully when I chuck the next coat of black on this, it should do the job. Or it's anything about it. Um, but it looks like that. Okay. So if it's shiny, it's still in a crevice. 
If it's dull, it's because it's been hit by sandpaper. And as you can see, I've nearly taken all the paint off of that. But can you see now it's dull? So that should mean, if it's not shiny, all of these have their sinkholes filled up. It's taken a while. Don't try and fill them. I tried that first. It's pointless. You've got to rub them down. So I literally would do this before you fit them. Just put them in the angle in the light and see where it is and just literally rub them down. It won't do any harm because they're too fat as it is. All right. And the trusty old cutting through them to make them look individual. So I'll get them with that and then I'm going to stick them on and show you what it looks like. Right. I'm going to want to put this on. And it has to be up that way. You can see right, that way up. There's two sides to these. There's a little side. There's this side. It's this way up. And it goes on there. What I'm going to do is use these as like pinholes because if you look at the actual picture of them, you, you can't see these when they're on. So I'm going to use these as mounting points actually and just drill through so it just goes in and sits sort of like there. Does that make sense? Just onto the top. And then it should hold these in firmly. And then what I'll do is tomorrow morning it's like that time and it's not midday. Um, insomnia. So I put that on like that. So I get that done. And to find the pinholes, if you just get a bit of black paint, and then you put a little bit of black paint on each one of these, and it will show you just about where to drill the holes. It doesn't have to be neat and tidy on this. Um, was it, I was watching a Kevin Talbot video the other day, and he was trying to get a body on straight, and he's no good at doing it, he can never work out where they are. So he scraped the body on it to try and get where the drill holes were. If he just puts a bit of paint on the posts and then puts the body down where he wants it and lifts it off, there'll be a nice little black circle. I'll show you in a minute. I missed one, but that generally gives me the idea, so I can just measure from there. And I'll just draw through, and these don't have to be neat. And I'll show you if it's on. And as you can see, that's where the screw holes are, where the drill holes are, and I have to cut them out to fit that. So this fits now snugly on all these little posts because I just put some black paint on it. It's exactly in the same place. And then you don't have to worry about measuring anything, it's just a really quick way of doing it. What's more that way, isn't it? Yeah. See? And I'll stick it on, I'll show you what I mean from the top. I'm just holding it on, but can you see? Um, it's a bit tricky because it's all black, but yeah, so it fits on top of those bolt heads perfectly and it gives me something to stick it to. And that's why I wanted to do that. But yeah, if you've got body kits or anything you're trying to put on model cars, or I mainly use this for grab handles to just, you just dip the grab handle in paint and then you place it on the tank where you want it and drill out the holes, perfect. No messing about, no measuring, perfect. Here I'm adding the attachment points with just some plastic rod. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's all completely done. Quick tip, if you're ever cutting plastic rod, just do that, this isn't going to be the best. And then snap it off. Don't, whatever you do, do this. I'm going to cut right the way. Oh. So, so literally score it, and then cut it, and then just, just bend it off. Anyway, and here it is with the attachment points put on. It just makes it look a bit better. They're fake, as I say, but uh, most of them just about in line with the bolts. And once it's paint, it shouldn't too much. Yeah, there we go. I knew something else. Right, onwards. And with the top deck on. Um, it might be a little bit big, but I think it looks all right. At least it looks like they're actually attached rather than not. Anyway. Right. Hi, everyone. Um, just a quick thing. I thought I would see if the... I've got AK Burnishing Fluid, so the mix, that's the one they had at the tank museum this time, um, to see if it will burnish the copper. It might not do. But I've got a little bowl of um, warm water and this. I'm going to put a little bit in, not a lot. I want to see if it does the job. Um, might do, might not. Let's have a look. That's nice, just... Right, that's enough. So I'll put 
put that in and see what happens. So, this copper, it might not do it because it's not brass. We'll have a look. Ooh. I think that might be going. Let's put it in. Let's put the other one in. Leave it for a bit. It might not work because it's copper. Anyway, come back to it in a sec. Right, I've come back after... I forgot about it, actually. Um, I've come back to this. Now, I've got to... Let's have a look. Okay. I have a feeling it might... Um, rub off. But we'll have a look. It'd just be easier. Oh, it's really hard to do this with one hand, holding it, the phone in the other hand. I must get a proper camera. Very naughty. Right. What we'll do is, uh, see there's a bit of copper still showing because that's probably where that super glue was. But I can paint that. I mean, I'll probably still paint a bit. If I just want to get it so that if the paint comes off, you just see black under it rather than copper. Right, let's wipe them clean and let's see what's happened. Right, it sort of worked. I mean, it's not perfect. So it's my wife practicing the piano in the background. Um, so there's a bits and bobs, but I'm gonna paint over these anyway. Hopefully it will stop the ginormous amount of copper look that comes through. Um, I usually use silver tow cables, but I'd run out. And I replace the actual cable. Can you see where there's super glue is? It's not got to the actual metal. And there must be a bit of super glue from the factory there. And then some of it hasn't quite. I don't know if you can see there. It's just a little bit coming through. A bit coming through that. And also, I must admit, I was a bit naughty. Um, I didn't wash them all first. So maybe that's grease from my hands. If I could give it a go again. And that's the firing range of Purbright, if you can hear that. Um, so, yeah. So, that's kind of work. Oh, and the other thing from my other video was, that's why I use glass. Can you see that it's stained my plastic bowl? Um, it gets into the plastic grain or thing the job. So, yeah. So, I think they're better than nothing. Anyway, I'll speak soon. And the final result. They have gone a little bit copper green. But as long as it's not... Bright copper, I don't care. I'm going to paint it now with metal coat and then see what that looks like. And this is then with the paint on and dry brushing a little bit. Um, I just did it so I don't want the copper showing through when they get moved. So I think it should be all right. So like that. So let me see if I can do that. Yeah, there we go. So I think it looks like metal cable instead of copper. Anyway, hi you It's getting there. I'm going to undercoat the lower hole. These rubber road wheels, I wasn't sure, they come off. Unless he's really lazy. I can't be bothered to take all the wheels off and do them individually. So I'm going to keep these ones on because it's black undercoat. You won't see it on the back of the wheels. Um, and then I can just do it only one. It's just so much for a quicker process. And as per usual, Citadel Chaos Black. And then the whole thing will have undercoat on it. And I can get down to painting it. So I think it's actually the build is um itself is actually done. Sort of thing. So yeah. Let's get some black paint on it. I'll show you when it's um, undercoated. Bubbling away. Hello everyone. Um I'm just doing the lights. Like I say, some people do these with actual bulbs in, but I didn't want to do that. Um it can be done though. Um it's very clever when people do it. But uh, yeah, so I use um, chrome, extreme metal chrome. I always use their thinner and cleaner. I don't know why. I've got the uh, Mr. Tall Cleaner 400, which is the good stuff. I mean, that you know, literally, wow, um, strips everything back, including your work mat. So there's that. Um, and I spray it on. It's like, I wouldn't do anything past 12 PSI. And then I 
Just take it on the right. And then I overspray it with Tamiya Clear. So Tamiya Clear Red, obviously, for the red light. <laughs> yeah, boom. Um, and then anything else, uh, green running lights or anything like that. Or if it's clear, just um, clear varnish or a little bit of clear varnish with a little bit of smoke in it um, to make it look like it's a bit deeper. Anyway, so that's that. We'll see what it's do. And I'll show what it looks like with the clear one. Right. I know it looks really sweet, but there it is done. Um, I hate these new iPhones, guys. There. It sort of comes across as a can, oh, as a candy colour. Um, and then when it's masked off and then painted around it, it does look like a lens with depth to it. Um, if you look at the bottom of the smoke, hopefully that looks like it's a lens. Um, and it'll look better when everything is put in place. You know, the painting, I should say. If you look at the back, it's probably a bit easier to see the effects are slightly bigger. So I'll mask those off, then we spray around it black, obviously. Um, yeah, and it should be all right. So, back in there. Typical, isn't it? What people don't understand when on the 16th model, they're huge. You see there? So that red. And then once it's painted all around, um, it should be fine. As usual, insomnia again. Um, yeah, might go down the stairs and watch Star Trek. Strange new worlds. Yes, I am a trackie. I have been, and always shall be, a trackie. Um, so anyway, I'm wondering now because I'm slightly off my trolley from um, <laughs> Mr. Tool Cleaner 400. Woof. Does a really good job, but my God, wow! Anyway, have a nice evening. And that's what the mask I'll put on. Um, yeah, this is the next day, so it's not one in the morning or something. So basically, the mask all just flows around. If you can see there, so that's mask and it's gone clear. And that's the mask all, and you see it's purple. It's latex, basically liquid latex, and um, it just follows the shape of the the, the light or the, um, you know, the frame of what you're trying to mask. Um, make sure it's nice and liquidy. Um, I was gonna use my old one, but um, it'd gone off. So the latex had gone funny, so it wouldn't work. So anyway, that's with the masking on. We need any there to stick some proper paint on.